You guys, so they're getting rid of the hamsters. Foodie Beauty just posted on Sala and Chantal's community post crying emoji. This is from 20 minutes ago, crying emoji. So this has been a learning experience for us both. It is too late to do anything now, but first thing tomorrow, we will sadly have to return one of the hamsters to the pet shop as we do not want to cause any harm to them in the future. I apologize, but all of the hamsters were together in the same cage at the store and the shop owner said that a male and female will not fight. Yeah, they lied to you so they could make money. That's, <laughs> that's what happened. I just want them to be as happy as possible. I do care for my cats as well, and as soon as I get home, they will visit their veterinarian. We will also buy a large, larger habitat with lots of toys and a hamster ball. They don't bite, which is good. We learned a lot, but I haven't owned a hamster since childhood, and I did Google care, but there's so much I miss that this YouTube video covered. I want to admit you guys were right, and we will need to separate them and buy a bigger cage. Thank you to those who gave us feedback in a respectful manner. Um, it looks like she read a video, do's and don'ts. Okay, well, I mean, let's look at these comments. Okay, before I read, I want to say what I have to say. I've never seen her actually say, you guys are right, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I've never seen her take accountability and admit when she's wrong. So, like, that was kind of an eye-opener for me. All right, now let's read these comments. So, um, the Black's Chaos, pinned by Sala and Chantel, said, Everyone makes mistakes, and that's how we learn. When we rescued our Shiba Inu, I didn't know a single thing about him. And he actually hurt me. And instead of giving him away, we learned about the breed, spent months of time, money, training, and care on him. And now he's our son and the best dog in the whole world. Every animal is different, and it's not like you're going to learn everything they need all at once. It, it takes time. I think it's very sweet you adopted the hamsters. She didn't adopt them. She bought them at a pet store that sold, like, everything and anything. Um... And now you know what you guys need to do to take care of them. And I know that's a better life than any life they would have at a pet shop. I get so upset with people being so mean to you guys. Not the people who are trying to help you. The actual rude ass people who think their crap doesn't stink and they haven't made one mistake in their life. And I say just ignore them, stay positive, ignore the hate and manifest goodness. What you put into the world is what you get back. So just stay positive and honestly wish the haters well. And that's what will come full circle. That's a big lesson I learned in 2022. Let's look at the replies. I just want to see if Foodie replied. Oh, Salad and Chantal replied, thanks, Blacks. Your comment means a lot. Um, Platano said, this is the kind of research you do before getting a pet, especially when there was no rush to do so, and they could have gone back to the pet shop at any time. Emily said, and it's concerning it took people commenting for her to realize the cage was too small instead of just saying it was too small. If she hadn't posted this video, those hamsters would still be together in the small cage. True. Um, Gina said, please stop being impulsive in every aspect of your life, especially with pets. Um, Mello said, seriously, Chantal, you need to see someone for your impulsivity. Think before you act for F's sakes. Life with Steph said, thank you for listening to everyone that said they needed to be separated. It just works out better if the research is done beforehand so there isn't problems later. Fruder replied, agreed. Mostly we just trusted the word of the shopkeeper. Well, don't ever do that. Especially in those kind of pet stores. <laughs> do your own research. Um, Crispy Bun said, you are doing the right thing by admitting your mistakes and learning from it. You deserve validation for your effort. They will have better lives with you than in some small cage in a pet store. Platano said, just return them both, except that it was impulsive and move on. Sal and Chantel said, well, we want one. Platano said, for what? Aren't you leaving soon? Exactly. For what? Sue said, you would expect a pet shop to give you accurate information, but sadly, that's not always the case. No matter where you are, try to return the female if you can figure out which, is, which it is, lol. Let's see what she said. Sal, uh, well, Sal and Chantel replied, Mary is actually not friendly at all, so we may. Of course she's getting rid of the female one. She hates women, even in animals, even in animals, even in animals.